it's now less than two weeks till Red Dead Redemption 2 is out which is just crazy to think. We've all waited a very long time for this game to release, but the game is out this month on the 26th of October, and we are getting tons of information from Rockstar themselves, which is making this wait bearable. Rockstar have followed to release further details and information on the weaponry and Deadeye system, which will be in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm Bailey, and today we will be discussing the new weaponry and Deadeye system, which Rockstar have revealed for Red Dead Redemption 2. Before I begin, guys, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button since it helps out so much because I'm your best and number one source for everything Red Dead Redemption 2. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So Rockstar are providing us with plenty of information and details on Red Dead Redemption 2 which is keeping us fans pumped to launch. Recently Rockstar posted on Twitter some information about the weapon choice and customization in Red Dead Redemption 2. They briefly went over what customization we can apply to our weapons and some of the performance upgrades. They also gave us brief details on two holsters one being an upgraded and reinforced holster which will protect our weapons from degradation against the elements in the world and the other holster being the offhand holster which will give you the ability to dual wield in Red Dead Redemption 2. Following from these two posts on the weapon choice and customization in Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar have now released a dedicated page on Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption 2 site for much more information on the weaponry that will be in the game. This dedicated page about Red Dead Redemption 2's weaponry is full of brand new information about the weapons, the newly improved Deadeye system and much more. So let's take a look at the weaponry page for Red Dead Redemption 2. So our first introduction to this page we have weaponry, detail, depth and choice to find every aspect of Red Dead Redemption 2 and weapons are no exception. There are over 50 unique usable weapons, a massive range of options for customization, and a wide selection of different ammunition types to improve accuracy, range, or damage. The more a gun is used, the better it will perform, but it will also start to degrade over time, if not looked after. So a trusty sidearm needs to be kept oiled and clean. So in this brief summary about the weaponry rocks that have given us so much new information, we now know that in Red Dead Redemption 2 there are going to be 50 unique usable weapons which is just crazy to think. This will vary from revolvers to pistols, repeaters, rifles and much more. There is also going to be a massive range of options for customization for these weapons which again is just incredible. These weapons that we'll be using in Red Dead Redemption 2 won't just feel like basic weapons from other games that we purchase or collect from enemies. These weapons are going to feel much much more than that with all the customization that we will be able to do to each part of the weapons component it will feel as part of the character you want Arthur Morgan to be. Please keep in mind that the game is set in the late 1800s, so the weapons will be granted to that era. But whatever you can think of, which again being realistic, is probably possible for what you want your weapon to be like. After this, rocks are revealed we will be able to use different types of ammunition which can improve our accuracy, range or damage. Now we know from the leaked PlayStation trophy list that we will be able to craft ammunition in Red Dead Redemption 2 which is a pretty cool feature. So from what I'm guessing is we will be able to purchase standard ammunition from gun stores but when it comes to advanced ammunition we will have to craft this with us find the materials in the world. Again the ammunition you want to use is all about how you want to play. Then lastly, Rockstar has said that the more we use our gun, the better it will perform and if we don't take care of our weapons then they will degrade over time. Rockstar have also told us how we can clean our weapons which will be with oil and cleaning it with a cloth. We have seen the cleaning animation in one of the gameplay videos where Arthur is cleaning his revolver with a cloth. So a basic revolver will probably be quick to clean but I'm assuming when it comes to rifles they will take slightly longer and require 
much more oil. Moving through the weaponry page, Rockstar have included this image of the Wheeler Rawson and Co. Sporting Goods and Gun Department. Wheeler Rawson and Co. Sporting Goods and Gun Department is the catalogue that will be in the gun stores, which we can use to browse it and purchase weapons. Again, using the catalogue is optional as you can look at the weapons on the shelves, which is similar how ammunition works in Grand Theft Auto 5. This front cover of the Wheeler Rawson and Co. Sporting Goods and Gun Department seems to be very traditional and authentic to what catalogues would look like in the late 1800s. So Rockstar have done a really good job with designing this catalogue and keeping it traditional. Following from the front cover of the catalogue, we get a look at some of the pages that will be in it. These pages are the weapons that would be currently in stock and that we would be able to purchase. I do think that this is fantastic how traditional these pages look. So let's take a look at some of these images which will be pages in the catalogue. So first we've got the Catman Revolver, relish the pleasure of the revolver and it says a militia favourite, the Frontier Revolver, still as popular as ever. So we already know that the Catman Revolver was making return and there's plenty of information about this weapon on this page. Now I won't be reading this but you're more than happy to take a look at it yourself and have a nice little read. Moving on to the next page of the Wheeler Ross and Anko Sporting Goods and Gun Department catalogue, we've got the Volcanic Pistol, handy for feuds and strife and it says the most explosive pistol ever produced. Now to me, from this image of the Volcanic Pistol, it looks a lot different than the one that we got to use in Red Dead Redemption. Obviously there's gonna be changes to these weapons, but I really do like the new design look for the Volcanic Pistol. Next, we've got the Springfield Rifle, a perfect shot crafted by Lancaster. We fully guarantee this gun, and it says the rifle that modernized firepower, a powerful hunting partner. Onto the next page, we've got the Sword of Shotgun. A young man's first gun shoots a pattern in your target's dignity as a needle worker. And it says, for the man that enjoys wielding an honest surprise where it may lack range, it does not lack power. We've seen plenty of footage in the gameplay videos of the Sword of Shotgun, and it seems like a very powerful weapon. Then lastly, we've got the Litchfield Repeater, the rifle that brought peace to the plains. And it says, a majestic lever action breech loading rifle this is a powerful good rifle. Now this is just a tiny sample of what the weapon catalogues will look like in Red Dead Redemption 2. What I really like at the bottom of this page is the tiny advertisements which relate to other businesses in the world, which is pretty cool. Now after the weapons catalogue, we've got further information on the weapon choice and customization in Red Dead Redemption 2. With a myriad of customization options ranging from visual upgrades like new metals, woods, varnishes and engravings to performance upgrades like new barrels, grips, sights and scopes, you can design an entirely unique weapon that looks and handles exactly the way you want it to. Every weapon's performance varies in terms of damage, range, fire rate, accuracy and reload speed, so it's important to pick wisely depending on the situation. The high fire rate of a double action revolver lends itself well to shooting on the move from a horseback. If you're carrying something in one hand, like a lantern or small animal, consider using a sword of shotgun, which packs a bigger punch at close range than other one-handed weapons. The vermin rifle is perfect for hunting small game because it's far less likely to damage the quality of the skin and meat than a firearm with a bigger shell size. When faced with just one or two enemies, you might wanna go for Springfield Rifle, which has a slower fire rate, but delivers much higher damage. For range, a sniper rifle of some kind is obviously a good choice, but scopes can also be fitted to all other types of rifle, enabling you to switch between regular view and scope view at any time. Now this just provides us with some more information on the weapon choice and customization. Some of the main information we can take away from this is that in Red Dead Redemption 2, we will have to use different weapons for different situations if we are to ensure that we overcome whatever is in our way. Next, we've got a few images, two of which we've already seen from what Rockstar posted earlier on Twitter. So we won't be going over them and we'll take a look at the two new pieces of information. So we've got Arthur on a horse shooting a piercing ram up to him and below it says, for extra stopping power, purchase and craft a variety of ammo types such as split point, high velocity, 
or explosive ammo. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we know that we'll be able to craft ammunition in Red Dead Redemption 2, which is pretty awesome. Here, we've got some new details on some of the ammunition that we'll be able to craft. Split point ammo is when you fire a bullet, it creates multiple projectiles which will spread and hit areas in which you have targeted. High velocity ammunition is basically fast traveling bullets. Then explosive ammo would be ammunition that explodes on impact, which is probably going to be my favorite when it comes to tricky situations. Moving on to the next piece of information, we've got Arthur in the snowy mountain region of the game with his horse behind him and he's carrying a revolver in one hand and a rifle in the other. Below this, it says, your horse's saddle will store all of your weapons. Be sure to select and carry the weapon you'll need when leaving your horse behind. Now we already know of this gameplay feature as it was revealed in one of the Gamer Magazine articles. So like in previous Rockstar games such as Grand Theft Auto 5, we had a weapon wheel which we were able to use and pull a minigun from our pocket. In Red Dead Redemption 2, you'll have to make sure that you have your weapons on you and you can only carry a certain amount. So you'll be able to have two rifles on your back and two revolvers on you at all times. If you want to change what weapons you have on you, you'll have to head to your horse's saddle or stash. Moving through the page, we've now got information on Deadeye. Deadeye is a powerful weapon of its own, temporarily slowing down time during combat so you can pick off your enemies with more precision. The new Deadeye system gradually expands and becomes more sophisticated over the course of the game, from automatically selecting targets in your crosshairs, to allowing you to manually place shots on multiple targets, to being able to shoot at will in slow motion, and ultimately to pinpointing the weak spots on your enemies for even deadlier accuracy. The system grows with you and your experience and can often provide the critical edge in a life or death situation. I really do like the massive improvements to the Deadeye system and how the system grows with our experience. I think if we were to ensure that we unlock all levels of Deadeye, you'll have to make plenty of use of it. We've got four screenshots and some information on Deadeye, which we'll briefly go over. The first piece of information says, preserving and unleashing Deadeye in gunfights with multiple enemies can be a critical strategy for turning the battle in your favor. Next piece of information says, paint your enemies with targets and unleash a rapid fire hail of bullets. Moving on to the next piece of information, it says, as Deadeye progresses over the course of the game, you'll be able to see critical and fatal points on your enemies, such as the heart, brain, and lungs. The last piece of information says, Deadeye drains over time as you use it. You can replenish it quickly in combat scenarios by consuming provisions or tonics. Now there's not much to say about these new screenshots of Deadeye in use, but they all look awesome. Now last, we've got a quick look at some of the weapons in action. First, we've got the Bolt Action Rifle. The Bolt Action Rifle is strong and versatile with an ammo capacity of five rounds, an ideal choice for long range combat with multiple targets. Next weapon, we've got the Carbine Repeater. The Carbine Repeater is a reliable repeating rifle with a solid firing rate and quick reload speed thanks to the tube loaded magazine in the weapon stock. Moving on, we've got the Catamaran Revolver. The Catamaran Revolver has an ammo capacity of six rounds and is a great all around revolver with a good balance of damage, accuracy and fire rate. Then lastly, we've got the Pump Action Shotgun. The high powered Pump Action Shotgun is a powerful weapon should you find yourself confronted by a wild beast or enemy in close combat. Now all these quick videos of the weapons in action are incredible. The details in all of them and the sound of the weapons are all awesome. And that was all the information Rockstar have provided on the weaponry which will be in Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar have seriously done such a good job on the weaponry in this game. To now know that there is 50 unique weapons in the game which all seem customizable, we can craft different types of ammunition, different situations will need different weapons for us to ensure we get the best outcome, the new Deadeye system is massively improved and will seriously help in tough situations, then lastly the animations, details and sounds of the weapons are all incredible. All this new information has seriously got me excited for this game to release in now less than two weeks. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on Red Dead Redemption 2 and having a good look at what the customization we will be able to do to our weapons will be like in the game. As I keep saying, we've still got tons more information to come before Red Dead Redemption 2 launches on the 26th of October. We've still got further information on Red Dead Online and the launch trailer 
for Red Dead Redemption 2 still to come. Guessing as well as that there will be more information than just this. Whatever the Red Dead Redemption 2 information may be that we get next, you know to be sure that I will be covering it so you are all up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 so you are ready for when the game launches on the 26th of October. So guys, that's all I have to say for you today. I should keep you all informed of any new information which is worth mentioning in future videos. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of the weaponry in Red Dead Redemption 2. And if you want to see more fresh content, hit that subscribe button. Guys, thanks for watching. I love your faces and I'll see you in the next one.